friends, I'm Akash, and a hearty welcome to the Geography Made Easy series on my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to discuss about Armenia. But before we go into further details, I want to request you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for new videos. The official name of the country, Armenia, is the Republic of Armenia. And Armenia is one of the 15 former Soviet republics formed in 1991. The people who live in Armenia are called Armenians. And the country is landlocked. It's located in the South Caucasus region of Eurasia in Western Asia. Bordering countries include Georgia to the north, the de facto independent Republic of Artsakh and Azerbaijan to the east, Iran and Azerbaijan's exclave of Nakhchivan to the south, and Turkey to the west. Armenia is slightly smaller than the state of Maryland in the United States. The capital of Armenia is Yerevan, which is also the largest city and has a population of over 1 million. Other major cities include Gyumri and Vanadzor, and these two are the other two urban settlements, the major ones, with a population of more than 50,000. Armenia is divided into 11 administrative divisions. Of these, 10 are provinces, known as Martser, or in the singular form, Marts in Armenian. Yerevan, the national capital region, is actually granted a special administrative status. As you can hear right now, the national anthem of Armenia is playing in the background, so let's discuss the flag. The national flag of Armenia, the Armenian tricolor, consists of three horizontal bands of equal width. Red on the top, blue in the middle, and orange or apricot orange on the bottom. The current flag was adopted on August 24, 1990, and as per the Constitution of the Republic of Armenia, the red color in the flag symbolizes the Armenian highland, the Armenian people's continued struggle for survival, maintenance of the Christian faith, Armenia's independence, and freedom. The blue color represents the will of the people of Armenia to live beneath peaceful skies hence the sky blue. The orange, or the apricot orange, symbolizes the creative talent and the hardworking nature of the people of Armenia. That's great, great symbolism in the Armenian flag, and I just love it. I love it when flags have a lot of symbolism. Armenia is a great example for its flag. The population is about 2,956,000 1,900 as per the 2020 estimate. Most of the population lives in the western and northwestern parts of the country, where the two major cities, Yerevan and Gyumri, are located. The predominant religion in Armenia is Christianity. And in fact, over 93% of Armenian Christians belong to the Armenian Apostolic Church because Guess what? This is a really cool fact. Armenia was the first nation to adopt Christianity as a state religion around AD 301. The roots of the Armenian church go back to the first century. Yep, the first century. It's widely believed that the Armenian church was founded by two of Jesus' 12 apostles, Thaddeus and Bartholomew, who preached Christianity in Armenia between ADs 40 to 60, the years 40 to 60. Then because of these two founding apostles, the official name of the Armenian church is, like I said earlier, the Armenian Apostolic Church. In fact, small communities of Jews and Yazis also live in Armenia. And guess what? Make sure to take the quiz at the end of this video, because there's a quiz. It tests your knowledge on everything that you've learned in this video about Armenia. So if you're paying attention, you'll get all the answers right to the quiz at the end of this video. The currency of Armenia is the DRAM, or AMD is its code. 
one US dollar is roughly equal to 485 Armenian drams. As of the time, we are filming this video. The official language of Armenia is Armenian. As a former Soviet Union Republic, most people in Armenia also speak Russian. English is also understood in Armenia too. Armenia is a unitary parliamentary republic. In Armenia, the president is the head of state and the prime minister is the head of government and he has the executive power. And the National Assembly of Armenia, actually called the Azgayin Jogov in Armenian, is the legislative branch. Armenia is a member of the United Nations and has actually a partnership agreement with the EU, the European Union. Armenian is a member of many international organizations too. Armenia is a developing country and its economy is primarily based on industrial output, mineral extraction, and external financial support from the diaspora. And despite its decent economic growth of 7.6% in 2019, Armenia's unemployment and poverty are still prevalent. Armenian mines produce copper, zinc, gold, and lead. The vast majority of energy is produced with imported fuel from, you guessed it, Russia, including gas and nuclear fuel for Armenia's Metsamor nuclear power plant. In fact, the main domestic energy source is hydroelectric power, and it has close ties with Russia, especially, like I said, in the energy sector. Remember, the gas, the fuel from Russia coming into Metsamor, Russia with energy. 2019 nominal GDP estimate of, um, of Armenia was about $13.4 billion and the per capita income was roughly $4,527. Armenia primarily exports to Russia, Iran, Bulgaria, Iraq, Germany, and the Netherlands. And the country imports from Russia, Iran, Georgia, China, and Germany. The terrain in Armenia is mostly mountainous, with 85.9% uh, just mountain area, and the average elevation is in fact 1,792 meters, so very high up in the sky. Armenia actually has fast flowing rivers and a few forests. Lake Sevan is the second largest lake in the world relative to its altitude at 1,900 meters above sea level. 1,900 meters above sea level, wow. The climate is a markedly highland continental, which basically means high mountain areas climate, the climate of high mountain areas. Summers are hot, dry and sunny, temperatures between 22 and 36 degrees Celsius, and humidity levels are low. Springs are short, while autumns are long with colorful foliage. And in fact, winters are quite cold, with plenty of snow, with temperatures in fact ranging between negative 10 and negative 5 degrees Celsius. And if you're wondering why the climate is like this, remember, Armenia has mostly mountainous terrain, it's high up, gets more snow, and is more cold. Armenia's highest point is Mount Aragats, 4,090 meters in the sky. And the lowest point is the Debed River, which is Armenia's lowest point, at 375 meters above sea level. And countries in on a top level domain, or TLD code, is .am, and they drive on the right side of the road. The international telephone country code is plus three, seven, four. Armenia has only one time zone, which is GMT plus four hours. Coming to sports, sports. Wrestling, weightlifting, chess, judo, football, boxing. These are some of the most popular sports played in Armenia. Because of the plenty of mountainous terrain, People also love playing winter sports like skiing. And in fact, wrestling and chess specifically are the two games that Armenians are best at internationally. Armenia has had a rich culture and heritage. Despite periods of autonomy, Armenia 
came under the sway of various empires, including the Roman, the Byzantine, the Arab, the Persian, and the Ottoman. The Kingdom of Armenia reached its height under Tigranes the Great in the 1st century BC and became the first nation in the world to adopt Christianity as its official religion in 301 AD. By the 19th century, Eastern Armenia had been conquered by the Russian Empire while most of the western parts of the traditional Armenian homeland remain under Ottoman rule. And during World War I, speaking of the Ottoman Empire, 1.5 million Armenians living in their ancestral lands in the Ottoman Empire were systematically killed. They were exterminated in the Armenian Genocide in 1918, followed by the Russian Revolution. All non-Russian countries declared their independence, forming the first Republic of Armenia in 1922. Armenia became a founding member of the Soviet Union, and with the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the USSR, in 1991, the modern Republic of Armenia finally gained its independence. The dispute over the Armenian Genocide of 1915 and the recent war over Nagorno-Karabakh, or now Artsakh, have created tense relations with two of its immediate neighbors, Azerbaijan and Turkey. And for the same two reasons, Pakistan does not even recognize the existence of Armenia whatsoever. Now, it's testing time. It's quiz time. I'm going to ask you five questions about what you have just learned. And your first question is, Iran is a bordering country for Armenia. True or false? Your second question is, what is the official currency of Armenia? Your third question is, what is the highest point in Armenia? Your fourth question is, Armenia became the first nation to adopt Christianity as a state religion in which year? And finally, your fifth question is, what country is the only one to not recognize Armenia as its own country? For your convenience, the answers are located in the description below. Thanks so much for watching this video all about Armenia. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon so that you don't miss my new videos every time I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching.